Hello and welcome back to another one of our videos. Um, thank you once again for all of the uh, questions and and uh, feedback that you've uh, been sending through. Uh, that's really appreciated and it makes it all very much worthwhile. Um, one of the questions that was asked is what do I look for um, in a puppy? Um, and quite honestly that's a probably a very difficult question to answer. Um, you must remember that I'm with them all day every day so I get to see them um, all the time. Um, and in every litter of puppies there's some that are a little bit more bold and some that aren't quite so bold, a little bit quieter, not sort of standoffish as such but uh, a little bit quieter puppies. Um, some of these make nice companions, others you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't want in the backyard because you wouldn't have a garden left. But um, I'm going to swing the camera around and see if I can um, show you uh, some puppies, and hopefully, we'll be able to try and point you in the right direction, as it were. Um, okay, here we are um, in the puppy pen, and. Uh, there's a few little puppies in here. These are this is Stout that you met the other day. Um, this is his litter, um, brothers and sisters. There are some very very nice little babies in here. And you know what do I look for? Well, little Stout who's running around there. Very very bold. Very um, very confident indeed. Um, you know, he's not sucky in any way. He's nicely put together. He's quite, he's quite well um, developed for his age. A lovely head and a good back end. And I firmly believe that we tend to look at the wrong end of the dog. Everybody looks at their face, but quite honestly, um, all the power is in the back end, not in the front and you will see what a dog is going to be like by the amount of uh, power and muscle that comes up in their back end. As you can see, he's got plenty of steam in his belly, and that's what I like. Uh, there's another black and white dog in here as well, who's probably this one here. Um, although he's relatively calm at the moment, he's probably got more steam in his belly than what um, Scout does. Um, why did I choose Scout over him? Probably because he's more black, to be quite frank with you. Um, I've wanted a really dark dog for a long, long time. This little man's got a lovely head, um, a beautiful head, actually. And uh, he's quite stunning. Um, quite a stunning puppy. In fact, all this litter are. But, you know, you're asking me what I look for. Um, the little liver and white chappy here. This one that's just running around and gone into the kennel. That one there, right at the edge. Um, beautiful head. Stunning, stunning Springer head. Solid liver. Got some really nice bone in his legs. Um, he's got a lovely... His head is set nicely. His neck is nice and thick. Um, Been going to come back round again now. He's done a bunk on me. Here he is. And he's got a deep chest, a good brisket, as we call it. Um, you know, once again, not faint hearted. Um, these have been asleep for a while, so they're quite happy to have a rummage around and a play. Um, as far as bitches go, well, um, this little tiger here is um, the one that's been, I suppose, forward and foremost um, in um, in the litter as it were um, right from the very start um, she's uh, she's here being stood upon by the others but she is the first one that comes to you when you get into the pen um, she's been right from the very start right from the time that she could walk um, she has been very much that way. 
once again, um, you, you, you wouldn't want that in a backyard. Um, that wouldn't make a pet. That needs somebody that's going to, to work it and give it some exercise and you know, channel all that energy. Um, it is, it is uh, an absolute full-on little puppy. Um, I should keep her as well as Stout. Um, the other little bitch that's up there at the moment having a gnaw on the stuff. Um, lovely, absolutely lovely, but much quieter. So would then go to horse um, becoming a pet home, which is what she's going to do. And, uh, and she's going to be um, a pet. So, you know, that's hard when they're running around like idiots, but that's what I look for. Um, I mean, as I say, all this litter has got plenty of gold in them. Um, but some of them are just a little bit more full-on than others. Uh, the two boys that you see there romping now, Stout and his brother. Um, once again, the brother is going to be more, more of a handful than what Stout is. But, um, wonderfully good fun. Wonderfully good fun. But all this litter have got lovely heads. There's no doubt about that at all. Um, and that comes primarily from the father. Uh, he always throws lovely heads, and in the case of the black and whites, um, beautiful dark eyes. Uh, they really are. They're very, very dark, and um, yeah, that's what uh, that's what I look for. The eyes are the window to the soul. You can tell what a puppy's going to be like by looking at his eyes. And um, I'm sorry, I'm not very good as a cameraman, but there we are. So. I hope that answers some of your questions. Um, if you've got any, any more, um, please don't hesitate to give me a shout. Um, but quite frankly, how could you not love all this? Uh, they are just lovely at this age. That's uh, the little bitch that I was telling you about fighting the stout. And she's no, you know, no shrinking violets. There's certainly nothing here that's going to be shy or intimidated by anything at all um so look thank you for your time uh, once again it's been a pleasure to be able to have a chat to you um, i hope that everything is well with you and yours and wherever you are that you're safe and uh, as we keep saying each time we hope our friends overseas are staying safe and uh, we think of you all the time and we we miss you and hopefully it won't be too long before we can all get together and share some quality time all the best thank you once again and uh, until the next movie cheers for now bye bye now bye <laughs>